beats this could guys be something special yeah this one could be fight of the night for me this is one i've really been looking forward to sir to try and call this fight almost sitting on we always get action strada nice left hand on and the strada the one is finding the range better is two years older may not be quite in there and he'll want being patient waiting for Kudas to come in and actually got caught with a good uppercut from Estrada, and Estrada see with him here. Wild woolly swing. Things already Estrada, for me in control. Good performance from Estrada. Juan Francisco Estrada with a, an excellent first couple of rounds against Carlos Quadras, but he just gets caught there at the big Off balance, or, or he was caught with a shot, I'm not sure, but. He's got the ability to do that. The problem for Quajas at the moment is that his feet are awaits you to thought the victor here. So, so and beginning to really warm up. Quadras having some success now. Strada two. And the jab from Quadras will be his bigger size, his knockout power can get through. Very good chins though. I'd be interested to uh, look at the unsettled from whatever happened at the start of that round there. Yep, it was that fast start from Quadras. He needed something, and that's better from Estrada. Intelligence, the ring craft, but remember, Quadras is the career <laughs> super. Quadras might help him down the stretch. Yeah, that's usually when Estrada is still very cute on his feet. Just takes a tiny step out, a couple of inches. That's why he does that, because like you say, he works so much better out of his orthodox stance. This is a really another good patch for Estrada. Just dazed again, Quadras, having had that success in the third. Yeah, he's, he's a strange fighter, Quadras, because he, has, he makes fundamental mistakes and gets punished for it. You can't do that. He moves out of range, throws the left hook, throws the right hand. When he tries to overcome... Valoria. Times. All around Macau, Mexico. He's well traveled. Mexico in with the 29 year old Carlos Quadras with a right hand there. And the range. And he really is an unpredictable character. More variation I'd like to see from Quadras. There's a lovely right uppercut there. Beautiful. Has a burst, Quadras. And he seems to have an effect. And then. Good. Get back into it. Quadras with the jab. Just slightly short there, Estrada. Back to Southport. And this is one of those fights where you really need to be switched on for every second of the free. Oh, but he's a little bit too erratic for me at the moment. Quite dress. He's getting his, he's having his successes, but Valero, that big puncher, Jorge Lenaro. Got one going on here as well. Estrada landing well with that jab again there, but action really swinging one way than the other yep both of you have come down with the jab finding some good openings it just it just teed you up and threw a good right uppercut there landed the shot and that all started from the jab oh and this one a closer round but both guys starting to land their shots really heating up this into the sixth half quarters of the round in, in most cases so far he looks the better fighter Again there with a jab, setting everything up, a settled, he landed a couple of good jabs, followed by a good right hand, this is good. From Juan Francisco Estrada, and he's finding the chin, easy to catch, of Quadrada here. Well, Estrada working well on the counter punches. Let's go Estrada and Carlos Quadras. A lot of energy, boxing on the perimeter, perimeter of the ring, switching south for bounce. Heavy this round. Possibly the bigger puncher in there with 27 knockouts. And you never know. Whoa, good shot there. Just seemed to stumble. Possibly a balanced thing, but Estrada certainly feels as though he's got to his going through the gears. Big deep breath from Quadras for Carlos Quadras as Estrada has beginning to find the answer because he just goes to work. He ups the pace when he wants. And Quadra, and now he's the one who's going to have to dig deep. He comes back with a left hook. Four, yeah, aren't they? Yeah, they certainly are. There's a lot of pride in there at stake here. You see one winner in there. I mean, I, I've got Estrada in a handy lead. Yeah, there's a big left hook. And hurt him too. Yeah, totally. Getting close. Hang on.
boxing full out here. He's really struggling to stay with the pace. And you can just see now as well, Estrada trying to start to boss this, not just with the volume of punches that he's landing. He's trying. Carlos back in the ring and said he would destroy Estrada. Hasn't happened. Well, I just think it's just that he's kept to a game plan. He knows what he wanted to do. And for me, Quadras really having to pick a winner in some of these rounds. I've had to go with Estrada, being uh, a boxing purist. Favor Quadras, but walking, he's got to be careful, Estrada. But both will ensues as it gets towards the key rounds. How close is it on the judges' cards? Yeah, he's boxing a lot cuter this round, Quadras. Got half a step out, making Estrada fall short. But Estrada still in this round. Yeah, he just seems to switch on a little bit and allowed Quadras to get in, but a lovely uppercut there from Estrada. Wonderful matchup with Canelo and Golovkin next week. For him, but these guys putting up an excellent performance and a good shot there from Estrada and Quadras. Right hand landed. He done well to move away. More accuracy, volume. There being oh. Quadras, but a wonderful right hand from Estrada. And it, not the first time in his career, but he has never been stopped. And Estrada wants to be there. And it is this. Accuracy and skill set. Oh, back up. Yeah. Quadras was a heavy knockdown and he's still feeling the effects of the shots that are landing the right hand again. That's the right hands are flying home and it's that leaky defense of Carlos Quadras. It was charging that jab is doing damage and a great left hook going in there as well. Doubling up with the left hand. He's just shots. Yeah, good defense from Estrada. And then when he needs to attack, he does in the pot. With his work, his all-round ability is As he's strung a load of victories together and he's found a real style that suits him. Great work again here in his 11th round and really picking. Quite just, just looking out of his depth here. It might be catching the eye of the judges of the fans. And the punch picking and the efficiency of Estrada. He's just winning this down the stretch. Look, the fighter who had it all together. And it seems like Estrada could go on doing this. In the last, it's been a wonderful start to this great one last hurrah. Well, if there is Adam, I think he needs to throw it, throw it now. But Estrada again picking this. Look pedestrian at times but some scribes some fight fans online have got carlos quadras up this fight so if you saw some of those rounds differently it may be close to see this being a close contest i'm going to be honest as well remember the knockdown that quadras suffered max de luca tim cheetah load a game plan and executed it pretty well everything carlos quadras and still he comes forward Still, he tries to find the body shots. Great work rate, but one right hand back from Estrada. Gone so fast. I mean, I could watch this all night. It's fantastic stuff. Watch Estrada, because he, he really is a good fighter. Quite dress from Estrada. Body work as well. Plenty of leather being thrown by Quadras late on. Seems like he's needed to. To the winner by unanimous decision. Carlos El Principe Estrada. Not a shot after the break. Much more coming up with the super flies, and we'll be thinking about that. Oh, there's a problem My here. My apologies. The score goes the other way. And the winner the score was wrong. Juan Francisco Estrada. Well, this, you just can't script.